Hey, what's up guys? It's Drew here from Hard Body Reviews. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Just got home from the midnight screening of Prometheus, so I want to do a quick review while it's still fresh in my head. Uh, I, I loved it. Um, I was nervous going into it. I, I didn't read much, but I saw it at a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't the most reliable thing in the world, but... I was, you know, really looking forward to this, and 75% struck me as kind of low, but fuck that. I don't know what those critics were negative about. I thought this was phenomenal. Uh, I like this just as much as The Avengers. I'd give this like a 9.5 out of 10. I really, really liked it. The acting was fantastic. Michael Fassbender was great. He played a robot in this, and he was amazing. I, Idris, uh, forget his last name, but Stringer Bell from The Wire, the black dude, the captain of the ship, was so great. Um... Numi Rapice, whatever her name is, pretty much, like, seriously, everyone in this movie did a great job acting, Charlize Theron, too, uh, visual effects were, uh, <laughs> they were unreal, I mean, this movie looked beautiful, it was shot so well, um, I saw it in IMAX 3D, so, yeah, it looked, it was great, if you're gonna, if you have the choice to see this in IMAX 3D, do it, because it sound, the sound's great, the, the picture's great, and the 3D was utilized very well, uh, and the score was awesome. This is the first movie I've seen in a while that has like a a, signif um, a great theme to it. Like I was talking to you know one of my friends the other day. I was like, you know, there hasn't been a movie in a while that's had a great theme that stuck with you after you saw the movie. You know, like E.T. or Indiana Jones. Like these themes, these great classic movie themes. And this one, ooh, bug. This one seriously did. Every time it would play, I was like, oh, I just love this theme. I can't wait to listen to it. I just played periodically throughout the movie. And okay. There was good, there was good horror action in this as well. Some, some good kill, like it was bloody. There was some good blood, and it definitely deserved the R. And the one thing I wanted to say though is, towards the end, my one complaint about this movie, right around the ending, was this. So this movie has this big scope. It, it tries to answer like these huge philosophical questions, and at the end, it's kind of like they depart from going down that route and and going more into this and answering it, and they kind of go towards more of the sci-fi horror route. Um, which, uh, I don't know, I feel like they should have picked one or the other. They should have included maybe that earlier in the movie, the, the sci-fi horror action, and left the ending to be kind of like a big discovery or whatever. But whatever, that's a minor complaint. Uh, I highly recommend this. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. I really, really like this movie. So, all right, guys, see you.